correct, in my opinion. Uh, and also, like, the hardest to control as well, simultaneously, so it's like, wow, I am, yeah. I'm spending my entire life for zero value. Yep, exactly. And then there's, um, what else is there? Oh yeah, Arissa. That's just, that, that tank's just designed to say fuck you to anyone else who's having fun, uh, who's playing tank. Fuck um, Arissa, dude. Arissa has funny enough gone from like being, oh, this was a fun concept design to, oh god, why, why do they always design this tank? She's making her so high health, like, I don't, she has so much knockback resistances and shit, right? Like, I just, and... My bullshit, my bullshit with her is just the fact that she doesn't fucking die if yeah, you don't like, do, like, DPS damage. Give her a weak, it's just... give her a weak point at least, please. Like, I don't fucking get it. After like a certain period of time, I think it was definitely after they like was implemented, they just kind of forgot what weaknesses were supposed to be on characters. They yeah, just gave up. They either make a character that's so underwhelming that their value that they can add is offset by the fact that like, oh my god, like Ilari probably doesn't die and like shoots bullets and stuff, but she's just so underwhelming that she's not useful. It's like a balancing issue of like the characters that they do add. They either add in a state that's so weak that the inherent flaw of the character is not obvious because they're not a problem straight away. Or they add a character and it, the flaw is obvious and then they try to band-aid fix it. Yep. And it's like, no. Or they, or they, or they just gigabuff it until eventually something actually generally fixes it. And then it's broken and then everyone hates fighting it because it's normally poorly designed if that's the case. Because if it didn't work in the first place, well, what's that going to say about the rest of the character? To be fair, it's just, ugh, Overwatch is just, it's, it's, I just a can't, mess. I just can't even, I mean Sigma for a good while, ah, oh, respect my brother. Honestly, honestly, that's one of the more base tanks. I think, respect. like, the, po like, the only thing about, like, Sigma's existence that's a bit unfortunate is the pairing he had in Overwatch 1 definitely gave him a bad rep. I just, uh, Sigma's so, like, he's not fun. the most fun character, but, like, I just love him. He feels like he fills the tank role, if that makes sense. Yeah, he does everything a tank needs to do, but I also feel like he doesn't do it so badly oppressively, like, that I hate him, his existence. I just, he's fun sometimes to just, like, rock! <laughs> <laughs> it definitely is, Also, yeah. like, I remember first seeing Sigma and being like, oh, it's an old man, I don't care. Ugh, Sigma, ugh, stinky. Not a, a not an attractive I then, I then, I then watched his cinematic and I was like, oh, this dude's a psycho. Oh, this dude's like, what is the melody? And so I ended up actually really falling in love with his character. And like his yeah. interactions with the other ones, like Sombra. Sombra and Sigma. Yeah. Yeah.